Darsh Zone dropping his 64 gigabyte ultimate image. This is gonna work for the Raspberry Pi 3B and B Plus, focusing on a lot of computer games, but rocking over 20,000 different games. Fully updated, new iteration, this should be a good one. All games, 22,426. Now, a lot of these are gonna be the old school computer games, but there's still a ton of games. The way he's able to get all these games on there is he uh, is only using um, the, the pictures here. So it'll have like a screen shot, a box art, and a logo um, on all of them, which is great. That's fine. This is how you pack a fully loaded 64 gigabyte. It's great to see a 64 gigabyte because we haven't seen a lot um, that are fully loaded for the Raspberry Pi uh, 3B Plus, so the RetroPi 4.4 and newer. So let's go through these games really quick. Amiga 762, Amstrad 337, Apple II 500, Arcade, so he has two different arcade sets on here, so it's 1570 there, and Atari 2600, 448, 7800, 86, Atari Lynx, 86, Atari ST, 305. Commodore 64, 5200. So that's one of the things is even as compilation games, wow, and unreleased games. So that's what he says, is one of the biggest Commodore 64 collections out there. Pretty cool, 5200. He does recommend a keyboard for a lot of these games as it was a keyboard-based system. Moving along, 188. Dreamcast, none. It's just the Rycast. Family Computer System, 238. Game & Watch, 45. Game Gear, 368. Let's see if there's any bezels or anything. There's... All right, and so he's got the nice bezels on there. Nice setup. Game Boy, 621. Game Boy Advanced, 928. Game Boy Color, 589. And Television, 151. You got Cody on here. So here's your second arcade set. So if they're not going to work for one, they can work for the other. You have two separate ones. Cool to see. Uh, I'll have to play with it a little more to see what's going on there all together. Uh, Sega Master System, 328. Sega Mega Drive, 1024. So there must be... Okay, cool. So hacks and prototypes and license... Oh, there's none. Oh, I wonder if I said zero. I guess that's just how it gets to the top of the list. Wow, really cool to see the artwork here, too. Command and Conquer. And Unlicensed. Place have some fun in there. MSX 764. Nintendo 64, only four. Doom, Mario Kart, Super Mario, and Wipeout. Very specific. Neo Geo 158. Nintendo 1466. Wow. Plenty of... Things to try. Neo Geo Pocket 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color 76, PC Engine 220, Ports, Get Cave Story, Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom, The Plutonia Experiment, Doom, and TNT Evolution. PSP, you got one. PlayStation, you got 52. Alright, cool to see Capcom vs. SK. Some racing games, some shoot 'em ups, some sports games, more racing, fighters, all the Tomb Raiders, wipeouts, and World Soccer. Uh, so you got your Easy Hacks Toolkit on here, nice to see, pre installed. And you can change out your launching screen, background music, script. Cool. Sega 32X, looks like all of them, 37. Sega CD 6, so he didn't throw them all on there. SG 1086, Super Nintendo 1053, plus hacks on there. 
Vetrix 24, Video Pack 79, Virtual Boy 25, pretty standard, Wonder Swan 112, Wonder Swan Color 92, Sharp 6800, 1300. This is a, one of the biggest collections I've ever seen on the Sharp. On the Sharp over here. Sinclair Z Spectrum 1560, Alien. So here we're in custom collections now. 27 alien type games, Art of Fighting games, Batman games, Castlevania games, Commando games. Then you got CPS 1, CPS 2, CPS 3. It's a cool photo. Double Dragon games, Fatal Fury games, Final Fantasy, Final Fight, The Way of Exploding Fist. I didn't know there were so many. Gods, uh, International Karate. Indiana Jones, Kickoff, The King of Fighters, The Last Ninja, Metroid. How many Metroids are there? Quite a bit. Mortal Kombat. Three. Four. Oh, four for NES. Uh, Outrun Games. So you got the Arcade and the Libretto Core. Both. So that's why it's nice to have both Arcade sets. Pac-Man 71. PC Engine CD-ROM, Dracula, Pitfall Games, Prince of Persia, Puzzle Games, Bust a Move, Columns, and probably Tetris is in here. I don't think there's enough Tetris games. Rambo Games, Resident Evil Games, Robocop, Soccer Games, Super Famicom, 139. Shadow of the Beast, uh, Shoot'em Ups. Plenty of those for days. Sonic Games, 49. Space Invaders, Sports Games, Street Fighter Games, Streets of Rage, Super, Super Graphics 5. Teen Mutant Ninja Turtle Games, so all the different arcade versions, four player and two player versions. Tomb Raiders, a lot. Tron Games, how many Tron games? Wow, I guess there's a lot for the first systems. Turkin. The Legend of Zelda. Custom collections now. You have Amiga CDs, Barbarian, Commodore 64 Classics, Doom, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ninja, FIFA, Mario, Metal Slug, NBA Jam, NES Classic, Shinobi, SNES, Terminator, and Wonder Boy collections. Back to all games and then favorites. Has a couple favorites over here. All right, let's try a Commodore game. So there you have it, Darzone, 64 gigabyte. This is like his third or so image, so this dude's got some uh, experience under his belt. And uh, I'm really liking this. I like the decision to focus on some computer systems. I like the decision to no video snaps. I know a lot of you out there are like, why, why are you wasting time with these video snaps? Um, I like the idea to put both ROM sets in there because as you know, certain ROM sets play better than others depending on the game and things like that. So having a Final Burn Alpha and a MAME, really cool stuff. Um, 
The themes, I'm not a super big fan of the, the themes he chose, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. You can download as many new themes as you want on, through RetroPie. Um, as far as his uh, bezels, very tasteful, like them, no shaders on. It prompted me to do my controls when I first started. It has the Easy Hacks toolkit installed already. So a really capable 64 gigabyte image all ready to go out the box. I didn't have to do anything, any fixes or anything like that. And um, you know, overall I'm happy. I mean, if you want a 64 gigabyte with just a ton of games on it, um, then here it is. As far as game collections, you know, uh, you might want to add some N64 or some Sega CD or some PlayStation, but other than that, you know, it's got everything. Um, furthermore, I would just add that it has those um, those prototypes, and that's really cool to see all those prototypes and unreleased games. Um, they're, you know, I enjoy playing with them just because, you know, you play a lot of the classics, and it's nice to play some of these mods occasionally, you know, to just kind of change it up, try something new. So with all that said, I gotta give this one an A. I have no issues with it at all. I think it's um, doing a really good job. Let's see if I can beat Rhino without. Uh, I can't. It's about like two, five lives later. Shredder, no!